In this video, I'm going to show you the process for printing report cards. Keep in mind that report cards can only be printed by someone with the right permissions to run the report. The steps I'm going to outline apply in almost every case. The only exceptions are if you're printing report cards for an essential skills class or if you're printing report cards for Union Chapel Elementary. I'll be sure to point out where these exceptions differ and the different steps that you'll need to take. First, navigate to PowerSchool and log in. Make sure you're in the correct term by selecting it from the drop-down menu in the top left corner. On the right side, click Teacher Schedules and select the teacher whose report cards you want to print. Click the enrollment number under the attendance block, then click Make Current Student Selection. Under the printing headings, select Print Reports. Select the appropriate report card based on the grade level. This teacher is a third grade teacher, so I'll select 2015 RC Grade 3. If you have essential skills at your building, you will need to print a report card for those teachers. But instead of the standard report card, you'll print this alternative report card. If you're printing report cards for Union Chapel, you will need to scroll further down the list and select the pilot standards report card for the appropriate grade level. Once you've selected the correct report card, just click Submit. The report will appear here, at the top of any past reports you may have run. Notice that the status says Running. It may take a moment for it to finish, and the more reports you run, the longer it may take. Don't try to resubmit a report if it's being slow, as that will only slow down the queue. Click this Refresh button periodically until the report status says Complete. Next, click the View link next to the report. It may show up in a preview viewer in your browser, or it may download like this. Either way, double check that it's the correct teacher, report card, and term, then make sure to save it in a file you can easily find again later. You can name the reports whatever works best for you. We recommend using the teacher's name and grade so you can easily sort them while printing. Many schools have made a practice of emailing out these PDFs to teachers so they can proofread them before they're printed. This is an optional step, but we recommend it because it significantly reduces the chances of any errors. If the teacher finds a problem, they can correct it, and then you just rerun the report following the same procedure. Once you're ready to print, simply find and open the PDF file and click Print. Be sure to select Two-Sided in the printing options. Note that for Union Chapel report cards only, you will need to have 11 by 17 paper loaded into the printer. All other report cards will print on standard paper. 